First experience with an event, I walked through the kitchen into the family room and I dropped. I fell right on the floor. Sunday morning, my son was sitting at the table and we were getting ready to eat breakfast and I collapsed to the floor. I started having problems at work of focusing on work and doing simple tasks. I'm typically a public speaker. I was having problems being in front of people. I was starting to second guess the things that I was saying and basically was just collapsing at work. My wife and kids and I, we were uh, traveling in Paris, France. I was walking along the Seine River 10 o'clock at night and that's about the last thing I remember. My face slammed into a cobblestone curb. I knocked out four teeth, had to have my jaw wired shut. I had fractures in both orbital rims. Ultimately, I had a pretty major surgery with an oral maxillofacial surgeon. And they rushed me to the hospital, went to see doctors. They did all the tests there in the hospital. They couldn't find anything wrong. My husband came with me to the next cardiology appointment following the halter monitor readings. And the cardiologist said, everything was normal. There's nothing wrong. I had symptoms. I did not feel well. And I had lost consciousness and turned blue in front of my family. It's extremely frustrating from a patient to be told, I don't know. I had such a, a large amount of time in between my events. I could probably wear that halter monitor for three months and it wouldn't see anything. They introduced me to the link, placed it in the palm of my hand and began to tell me about the device and how it worked. The decision was made to go ahead and have it implanted. Eight months into it, I had an event at two o'clock in the morning while I was sleeping. The official diagnosis was uh, supraventricular tachycardia. We're not exactly sure how long I was unconscious, but my heart stopped for 19 seconds. I sat up off the floor and I said to Luca, I need you to call daddy. The thing I would tell patients is don't ignore it, especially if you're someone who drives or you have kids and there's the opportunity of hurting somebody when you have an episode. Unless I had the link put in, we would have never caught potential arrhythmia with my heart. That link is why I am where I am now and I'm safe with my device because it captured a full picture of what was happening over almost a two year period of time. Doctors see a lot of patients. Sometimes it's hard for them to remember and recognize that this patient in front of you is terrified. It doesn't look like it on the outside, but a good portion of them are losing their minds on the inside.